Hey everybody can here. So I wanted to do a vlog and excuse the dark lighting. I really like the lighting darker because when it's um light, it's either really too it's too light or it's too dark, you know? So there's really no in-between. I found good lighting before, but I'm not gonna try to fix it right now. Um so I'm just eating my cheese curds and I don't know why they're in a plastic baggie. My sister gave them to me. If you've ever been to Culver's, if you guys have Culver's near you and you haven't tried cheese curds before, go right now. Like literally leave your computer and go try them. They're like mini um, mozzarella sticks. Mmm, they're so good. What's my cat doing? He's trying to get into my sour cream straws. As you can see, I love food. Um, okay, so this is a very dark vlog. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna keep the lighting like this. Um, look at him. Like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Hey, that's my homework. Please don't just stop. Stop. He's so weird. Okay. So I want to explain what happened last night pretty much. Um, I made a video with Josh and Casey in the background. And I understand they are distracting. Um, a lot of you guys commented on, on Casey. Um, okay. Let's say I watched one of your guys' video and, and saw your friend in the video. And maybe I thought she was just like... I don't know, not normal or something like that. I, I don't know. And I decided to comment and say, hey, your friend's, like, really annoying and I don't like her at all. Like, you should stop being friends with her or something like that. Like, seriously, do you guys even think before you make comments or you just did you just make them out of, like, first, stop. No, you cannot have any sour punch straws. Stop it. Those are mine. My cat's obsessed with food. And he wants to try to eat my lizard, so that's why he's trying to get up here. Anyway, so basically I got a few comments, and I know they weren't, like, really, like, mean comments. They were just like, hey, she's really annoying, why, you know. They didn't ask why I'm friends with her, but they're like, she's really annoying. But I still like your videos, Katie. So thank you all for at least adding in that you still like my videos. But she is my best friend. And just because some of you guys say that she's annoying and loud doesn't mean that I don't already know that, first of all. I know that that's just how she is, okay? Obviously, I like her because she's still my friend, and she always will be, because you guys have friends. If you've ever had a great friend before who's always there for you, that's who Casey is to me. And I also have a good friend, Shannon, and I also have lots of other really good friends, but Casey just seems more like a closer friend to me, because we've been through so much that I can't even really tell you guys about because it's just not right to tell you guys we've just we've been through a lot over the two years that we've been friends and I'm aware that she is immature but she is way beyond her years and experience of certain of certain things her life isn't easy our life her life it's just it's not easy I don't think you guys know you don't know me you might think you know me but you don't know me and you might need, you might think you know Casey, and you might think that she's the most annoying person in the world, and it's way too loud. But that's not all she is. There's more to her than that. She's an amazing friend, and she always kind of keeps you very happy. And um, if you're ever really sad or something, she always wants to cheer you up, and she's just a very caring person. And then on the other hand, somebody made a comment about her boyfriend, who is um, mixed, He's not just African American. He's actually not even African. Well, technically, he is, because when you say African American, that means that one of your parents has African descent, and one of your parents has American descent. Um, Josh, actually, uh, I could talk a little bit about him. I guess he was adopted by his mother, and we don't really know what specific race he is. So you can't call him black. And either way, that's just not right to call somebody black. I don't really like when people say black. Um, I like. Either the term African American or just mixed or dark skin, you know. Um, but as somebody commented, and I guess this guy thinks that he knows everything, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, he wasn't trying to be racist. It just kind of makes me upset because these are my friends. And then people have to go off a comment about them. Like, have you not ever heard the term, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all? Like, to say that Casey is annoying and loud, right, to me, when she is my best friend and, like, a sister to me, I mean, that's just rude. And then even to talk about the fact that somebody thought her boyfriend was more into me than her. Like, you don't know us. And just from a seven-minute video of me and them, you, they, people make so many assumptions, you know? 
it's ridiculous and that's kind of what comes with making videos on YouTube is you know you're sharing your life with people and people are going to make assumptions based on what you say and what you do in those videos Casey in real life she is not as crazy as she is on camera she sometimes puts on an act on camera which is fine some people do that but um she can be crazy like that and that's what I love about her and uh, you know at least I have a friend that is good to me at least I'm not stuck with someone who treats me horribly, you know? That's pretty much all there is to it. And my eye, my eyeliner, I've been doing really thick eyeliner. Just jump and shove, check there, no big deal. Um, I'm going to do it back to dark lighting now. I'm kind of tired of the bright lights. Um, going back to the subject of that, yeah, I just wanted to kind of close off that from that video. And um, then kind of move on to talking about my date real quickly. So I didn't get much time to really talk about my date. Um, and, you know, the fact that I didn't have the date in the end. I got home from school yesterday with Casey and Josh. Casey drove us home. I got a text from the guy that I was supposed to have a date with. And he's like, you're going to hate me. And I immediately knew there was bad news. And it was likely he was canceling on me. And actually, that's what it was. But he wasn't canceling on me. It wasn't his fault at all. Um, he didn't stand me up or anything like that. That's nothing he would do. You know, I don't know him very well. I can just tell he's not that kind of person. And I know the boys have the little games they play, and you can't trust everybody. But I don't have much experience with guys, so I don't know. But I could just, I just have a gut feeling that this, this guy is really nice and and good for me. But um, he texts me, and he's like, my dad said I can't go anymore because he doesn't know your parents. And, you know, my dad's kind of strict or whatever. That's basically what he said. And I'm like, okay, that's all right. I'm a little disappointed because I was really excited and everything, you know. Obviously, I made a whole video about it and everything. But I know a lot of you guys were excited for me, too. And it just ended up kind of um, different than I expected, which taught me even more than I already had been taught in the past to not, um, you know, get your hopes up. If you're really excited or you think that you're going to be surprised with a really, really big surprise or something like that, you got to think um, on lesser terms. You just got to think, oh, it's not going to be a big deal. And you you, you got to not get your hopes up. And what that means is that you just cannot be expecting the best thing. Because um, then if it doesn't happen, if something comes up, then you're going to be even more disappointed. So for me, I was um, I was uh, kind of disappointed because, you know, it was going to be my first date. But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to have another date with him in the, past, in the, <laughs> in the future. Um, in the near future, definitely. Probably by next week, and I'll get to see him. But it just didn't end up so well. But I did get to go still um, to the mall with Casey and Josh. And they're my friends, so it wasn't awkward, you know. It was still really fun. And had a great time. But it um, wasn't how I wanted it to be. But it still was awesome, and I'm not complaining at all. Okay, so that's about that. And then, if you are still sticking with me, actually, you know what, I'm going to make a separate video about this. So, this was just my little um, vlog about last night. I know most of you guys, some of you guys enjoy listening to me talk to a camera for a whole 10 minutes at the most. But, um, some of you guys don't. And if you don't enjoy that kind of video, then don't watch. Like, you don't have to watch my videos. Like, unsubscribe right now. And I love when people warn you that they're going to unsubscribe. Like, okay, I have thousands of other supporters, you know? And there's people that really do stick with me and really like my videos. So, like, you saying that you're going to unsubscribe doesn't make me sad or anything. Okay, you're lost. You don't get to see all the fun videos I might make in the future. But, uh, yeah. So, that's all I have to say. Um... And then I'm going to make a separate video in a minute here to uh, announce some awesome news. Or not actually news. It's just the fact that I have no plans tonight. So what do you do when you have no plans? Hint, hint. Starts with a T, ends with a T. Haha, <laughs> it does. It's like one whole word. T, T. Or I might go on B, V, B, V, blog TV. That's a hint. But I'm not going to go on blog TV. I'm going to go on the one that's a lot more fun than blog TV. Uh, according to some people. I haven't been on Tiny Chat in a while. So yeah, just wait for a video coming up here and that pretty much gave it away. Alright, more details in the next video. Bye guys!